Hello, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I'm in this little town, and there are two little side quests here. This town is kind of in a throughway uh, over here. Because I gotta go talk to Sebastian anyways, so right in here is this, I what is this, Irondale? So, let's grab these side quests while we're here. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist <laughs> since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Okay. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested, and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. Okay. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Interesting. Okay. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Oh, Greville. What puzzle? Mysterious statue. Okay, well, let's go. I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Let's go see about the statue, then I'll come and talk to this person. Oh, look. I love these painters. Wait. You know, what are you painting? Because, oh. But it's the wrong season. They didn't change the season on the painting, but I love it. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. God, what? Where is this puzzle? This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Okay. Why are there so many vases around here? Activate the statue? Alright. Well, how do I do that? Confringo. I suppose I should try to find all the vases. Revelio. Revelio. So many. I think there should only be a few more vases. Okay. Bonk. We're nearly finished. Only one more vase. Ba -ba. Ta-da! Oh! It's not terrifying at all. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. But I'm not sure what happened. Oh wait. 
Start. Oh, it's a battle arena. Okay, okay, okay. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. <laughs> OK. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. All right, let's go talk to this vendor. If one more person asks me about... Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed oh. by his own sister. Uh -oh. uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I... I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Oh, Good no. riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us? But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Perhaps I can look for her? I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Oh. Coward. Long past your bedtime. Up. Yeah, okay. I should be going now. Thank you. I'll keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Crattering or steal the eyebrows or... I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. Uh, let's... <gasps> let's wait and see what's going on. Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. Okay, look for clues. Revelia. A, a pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. More gold. I must be getting closer. Ooh, look at all them goblins. They look like they need some slaying. <laughs> ah, but if you don't fill up so much, you can actually go further. Up for a bit of dying, are we? Oh, wrong way. Bombarda. <laughs> <laughs> One less follower, Ranrock. Follow the trail of coins. Revelio. Did I, uh... Oh, there we go. Uh, this is very far out of the way. Oh! oh, I didn't mean to throw a cabbage. <laughs> God dang it. Sorry. 
feel like I've been following these coins forever. This looks intriguing. What does? Revelia. Oh, about time. <laughs> A Niffler. It wasn't Catherine Haggerty after all. A Niffler. Captured the thief. Revelia. Where'd it go? I don't know which Niffler it was. Revelia. Oh, there it is. Place it. <laughs> I have the Niffler. Now to look for the Haggerty family heirloom. Found it. That must be the Haggerty family heirloom. All right. Must have snuck in after I fell asleep. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? Yeah. We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a Niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. But I suppose... <laughs> Mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Yeah, you did. Now, Blame thanks to you, right. I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. <laughs> Did you see that, that mask? Back. Hold on. Did you see the mask that I just got? How hilarious is that? Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Hold on. It's a... It's a... <sighs> oh, this is perfect. Oh, my goodness. All right. That's it. I'm wearing this. I am one with the Nifflers. Let's go talk to Sebastian. <laughs> Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? Hmm. I don't know. Let's talk to Sebastian. Maybe he won't be such a jerk to us like he was You're last here. time. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. Okay. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. Oh, really? You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. All right, come on. I'm Can't. sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. I can't with this this face. I love it. Ooh. Well. Oh, did it. 
now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Accio. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous lock. Medium. Brilliant. Oh, hush. <sighs> like you're doing any better. Oh, I just... Oh, gosh. I love Sebastian, but man, he's... A snot. Bombarda! Read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Before I go. Way to go. We came from there. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. You scared the bejesus out of me. <sighs> Why is this lighting up while I walk past it? Not suspicious at all. All this grass, it no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems, often caves. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine though. Well, that was a dead end. Okay, let's go back this way. Go across. Uh, you know. Well, this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Yeah. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems odd. Ah. There's something here by the altar. I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it to where it lay, but research must come before my fel felty before my felty to the rules. I sent something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by the English Oak Wand have powerful intuition, and I, I believe it. Powerful intuition, I believe it. Therefore, there, when, blah, 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 blah. therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I use their very bones as the key. I plan to return to it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment, learning the imperious curse, the spell I said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Uh, speak with Sebastian about the note. Yeah. Um. Uh. Okay, let me talk to him first, I guess. Looks like part of a student's <laughs> diary. 
It mentions plans to return to the Relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. Akio. Find a way through the barricade. Probably need more bones. The body of Nebios. Is that it? No. Okay. Let's see if there's any more bones in here. Akio! We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. There we go. I had my bones. Accio. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. <laughs> nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. What? The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. I prefer not to learn. And yes, teach me the ways, Sebastian. It's probably you know wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. Just a go spell all that in. could save your life all shouldn't be unforgivable. Nothing, right? You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Oh, Be on your guard. Um... Oh, I just exploded everything. What's in here? Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Let's 
around it. Punk. Oh, big mama. Still here? Um, how come Bombarda. she's still here? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, God. Uh, Sebastian, do something, please. Bombarda. Never knew spiders could make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Confringo. No. Ma'am, do this. No? Okay, never mind. I don't know why I couldn't. <sighs> Ugh. Oh. No? Okay. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. For a split second, I thought Sebastian was a spider. Revelio. Alright. Let's see. Can I not go in there? Confringo! Oh, I can. It's just... I thought it was blocked. Rebellion. There are no skeletons in here? Uh, okay. And that's blocking the way. Okay. Find a way through the barricade. I'm trying. Okay. Here. Revelio. Mm, well, there's a pile of something right there. Here. That worked. Keep going. Oh, I get it. Okay. So to open that door, I need to pull um Revelio. Okay, to open this one. I need that door and that hold on. Uh, okay. was nothing. Uh, okay. Um, okay, so I need that one and the swirly. Where's the swirly one? Okay, so last door. I need this one and this one. Ta-da! The door. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Boo -doo -doo. The Sebastian with the dad jokes. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. He better apologize to me later. Yep, I knew it. Imperium.
a minute! Oh, those spells are amazing. Let me grab all of this stuff. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Mm. Hold on. Don't give up yet. The relic contain, contains abundant potential. It is possibilities could be benefit not only wizard kind but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to release its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. And I'm going to take it. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Could it be? Yeah. Well, it says not to take it. But I'm sure you're gonna take it anyways. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. <sighs> we need the relic. But we should leave it. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For you Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I know it was going to be good, but you know what? I must keep this relic secret. We're just... Especially for my uncle. We're just going to live our life. <gasps> hey, sir, what are you is doing in here? Ominous. It sure is. Somebody was tracking us. Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. Persuade Ominous. How much did you hear? Everything. <laughs> that face. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. All right. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think I we should talk to him, I just... but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. Okay. I hope I don't regret this. Right. Sebastian! We're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. All right. Uh, am I going the right way? I don't even know. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. 
We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. Uh, you have my word. There. Hmm. Revelio. There's some goodies in there. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. I don't know how to he open just this. Doesn't understand. Yeah. And I didn't want to worry him all over again. Oh well. Oh well. Unless I can go around this way. Nope, this is the way out. Oh well. I'll just leave it. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's yeah. not like him. He's he was troubled, pissed. Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Okay, so we need to return to Felcroft. Oh, we have to walk there. All right, so we have to return, but we can't fast travel. Come on. Can we fly? Nope. Oh, no. That when we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done Falcroft to get this looks like She thinks like ominous. It's on fire. It upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldkoff's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. Uh, 
What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. Hmm. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Probably best. Uh, we can fix some stuff over here, though. Repair it. All these goodies. Ooh. Revelia. Alright. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Too late. Why, Sebastian? Ugh, all right. Well, now he's mad at us. Oh well. Let's see, um, Poppy wanted to talk to me and Natty also- oh. What, what was that? Speak with Sebastian in the Undercroft, okay. See what he wants. I hope he apologizes. Speak with my uncle. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my home twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Gotcha. Okay, well, let's go talk to Poppy. All right, let's see what Poppy has to say. Hopefully. Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. Oh. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. Oops. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. 
And now another creature's in danger. What do you hmm? mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. Uh oh. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. What's a Snidget? Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which okay. barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise in our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us. Who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The, the centaurs. centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Okay, so let's talk to them. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. Got it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. That sounds good. Okay, so... Man, that... That quest with Sebastian took a... Took longer than what I anticipated. I think the only thing... Let's see. Let me see if I could do something else real quick. Let's go... Let's go talk to the broom guy. We can go talk to him. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. Of course. $4,000. You are ridiculous. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right. Okay. I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. All right. I look forward to our next meeting. Okay, now I'm going to end the episode. Um, thank you all for coming by and um, supporting the channel and everything. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.